It is my extreme pleasure to introduce my dear friend, Bill McMenemy, as the Columbus Academy's Distinguished Alumni for 2021. Before talking about Bill, I want to introduce the girls in his family. Paula, his wife, his wonderful, loving daughters, Kristen and Carol, and his two granddaughters, Lauren and Clara, who are in the eighth grade and freshman at the academy. You are Bill's support and inspiration. Our years at the academy were academically challenging, but I have always remembered the quote fun part of the school. This is partially due to Bill's always positive attitude. He was, quote, crazy positive about life, then just as he is today. After graduating from the Academy in 1958, we were roommates our freshman year at Duke University. What a year that was. Study, study, study and a little bit of play thrown in from time to time. During that year, Bill became almost a brother to me. We could talk about politics, religion, family, and of course girls, and anything else that came to mind. Now to fast forward six weeks ago when Bill called me to ask me if I would introduce him as a distinguished Columbus Academy honor for 2021. My answer was an enthusiastic yes. And then I thought to myself how well this honor is deserved and so long overdue. Bill absolutely loves the Columbus Academy. Besides being on boards at the Academy, Bill has served on many leadership positions in Columbus. He was president of the Athletic Club, he was president of the Columbus Country Club, and, board of, and president of the Board of Realtors. Bill has been our class representatives for unions and other gatherings at Academy. Over the past couple of weeks, I have received some letters about Bill, and I'm going to quote two excerpts from these. The first was from Bo Dixon, who was the headmaster at Academy back in the 1980s. Many of our children graduated at that time. And Bill wrote, quote, Mac, you and your family joined the Browns, Crumbs, Kondrakis, Carlins, Merkels, and others in welcoming the Dixons to Columbus and helped us build lifelong relationships with you all. But you were the leader. You uplifted every single group you were in. I, was, I witnessed it a hundred times, end quote. The second quote that I would like to share this morning is from a classmate of ours, uh, Charlie Kurtz. Charlie Kurtz graduated us with us in 1958. And Charlie wrote about Bill. When you are with him, he has the uncanny ability to think you are the most important person in the world. He is a true friend. Bill, thank you for the honor of introducing you as the Distinguished Columbus Academy alumni for 2021. Thank you. There comes a time in every man's education when he arrives at the conviction that envy is ignorance, that imitation is suicide, that he must take himself for better or for worse as his portion, that though, that though the wide universe is full of good, no kernel of nourishing corn can come to him, but through his toil on that plot of land that was given to him to till. But the power which resides in him is new in nature, and none but he knows that which it is that he can do, nor does he know until he has tried. That was the beginning of my junior speech. <laughs> Only 14 plus a half a century ago. <laughs> it 
comes from Ralph Waldo Emerson's essay, Self-Reliance, which was published in 1841. When I look back on my academy education, there are several things that were unique about it. <clears throat> and they included the junior speech, the summer reading list, and the 100 word spelling test. The junior speech was a requirement of every student and there was no way anybody could get out of it. Everybody wanted to get out of it. Not a chance, not a chance. Summer reading list included all the classics like Les Miserables, Hugo, uh, David Copperfield Dickens. When classes began for the new school year in the fall, we were tested on the books that we had listed as having read over the summer. The 100 word spelling test was based on the Lester Spelling Book. I'm sure all of you remember that. The most difficult, easy words to spell in the English language. Words like neighbor and receipt. You got a passing grade if you missed no more than three words the first time you took it. Two words the second time you took it. And one word the third, third time you took it. Now realize all of this was done on Saturday. And if you hadn't passed it by that point, you took it until you passed it, missing only one word. The academy was and still is an outstanding school. Every student has been afforded the opportunity to attend the school that has been afforded the opportunity to, to attend the school. I was fortunate to have parents who believe in the value of an excellent education that their sons and daughters definitely experienced. I am proud to be an alumnus of the Academy and that my parents believed in its value. It prepared me to further my education and to be successful in my career. When I was told that I was named as outstanding alumnus this year, I was as surprised and as pleased as any recipient could possibly be. I feel thankful to our school and to our faculty for the continued excellence in the molding of minds and the character of their students, and that they had the brilliance to expand to include both sexes in the mix of our student body. I'm most proud to be able to say that our two granddaughters, Clara and Lauren Stevens, are students at the school in the ninth and eighth grades. Uh, I'd like to introduce them right now daughter Kristen and her husband Jason Stevens, Clara and Lauren Stevens, and my daughter Carol. Whatever, would you stand up? Thank you very much for the privilege and honor of being in front of you today. Association, I present you, Bill McMahon. Ah, McMahon. Ah, he told me I was going to say that. With the of the class of 1958, with the 2021 Distinguished Alumnus Award. <laughs> 